Hey, I'm Alex, and today I'll be showing you how to thaw out and feed mice or rats to your snakes. So the first thing you want to do is just take the mice out or rats uh, out of whatever you got them in. Uh, they're going to be frozen, and then you can just take these out, and you're going to want to put them into a separate bag because these aren't necessarily waterproof, but if you didn't get your mice in a bag, uh, you're going to want to put them in a plastic bag. So I'm feeding three snakes today, so I'll put three mice all in the same bag. They're frozen right now, and now we're going to thaw them out. So how I do this is I take some sort of container. This is just an old mealworm container. Just get any container that your mice can fit in in the bag. Make sure the bag is sealed. You probably want to take the air out of it. And now you're going to put this into here, and you're going to need to go to a sink. So what you want to go ahead and do is put your sink on hot, and keep it on hot until it's as hot as your water can get. Okay, so the water's pretty hot now. You want it to be as hot as you can get it. So now take your container, whatever you have the mice in, and just fill it to the top with that really hot water. Um, if you have a cover for it, you can put the cover on. If not, you can just leave it. Okay, and now we're gonna let this sit. Okay, now you want the rest to sit, or mice to sit in this water in the container for about 15 minutes. Uh, halfway through, you can just Go ahead and make sure the water is still hot. If not, you can just pour it out, get more hot water, and replace it. So what this does is it simply warms the mice up. And the reason you don't want to put them just directly into the water and in a bag is because the snakes can use the smell and taste of that rat to sense it uh, where it is. But if it's uh, in water, then all that smell might get removed. So it's best to put it in a bag and then in a container with the water. Also, what some people do is they might put their mice in the microwave. This is just gro kind of gross for one thing. You can do it, but you might end up burning or almost cooking your mice. And you don't want this to happen because then the snakes won't eat it. And it's just really gross. It smells bad. Just use hot water. It's the easiest. So I can go ahead and take them out of the bag. I'm just going to put them on a piece of paper towel. Um, you might want to handle them with snake tongs now, but you can also just grab them by the tail. And, and I'm just going to take one out to start, so I'm just going to dry it off. This one's already dry. And then now we're going to feed uh, the first snake. So it's best to feed with snake tongs. These are the snake tongs I have. Um, they're made by Zoomed. And so when holding the mouse, it's best to do it just like this or by the tail. And the reason you want to use tongs is simply because if you're holding the mouse like this, the snake might think, since you have that mouse scent on you, the snake might think that your fingers are that mouse and it'll go for your fingers instead. So you want to avoid that. So some people say that you should take the snake out of the tank before feeding it in a separate tub. I don't see the point of that. I think you can just do it in here. Uh, and again, the best way to hold the mouse is like this with the tongs uh, in like halfway through its body. I think that's the best way to do it. So I'll show you how to do it like that. Uh, and then keep like a firm hold on it because you don't want the snake to grab it off from you immediately. Now Gooby's in there. You can see his, uh, let's see. See, there's his head. He's coming out. He already knows it's there. He recognizes that smell. And this is my corn snake. So he's gonna look for it. You can shake, shake the mouse around. Uh, keep your fingers out of sight and then let him grab it. And you can just pull just a little bit and then let go because it makes it seem like the mouse is alive. As so you can tug a little. Don't tug too hard. Don't pull it out of the, uh, of the snake's mouth or hurt the snake. But now he's gonna go ahead and eat that himself and you're done with your part. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull the second mouse out. So again, if you're starting out, it's best not to use your hands with this. But I'm gonna show you just kind of the best way to do it if you do. Uh, you're going to want to hold it at its tail so that your hands are as far from the mouse as possible. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so I wasn't paying attention. And he, uh, I didn't realize that he already knew the mouse was there. As you can see, it's very obvious when they know it's there. I'm going to use tongs now. And again, you can just kind of move it around in front of its face. He's going to see it's there. And I'll strike. Ooh, he missed again. Okay, so I tapped the nose of the mouse to the snake and then he knew it was in the right spot. So it might take a couple attempts. So as you can see, Sunny actually let go of it and then bit it again. Uh, and that reminded me to tell you, it's best to try and get the snake to touch, to grab the head of the animal because if it uh, grabs it sideways, it's gonna be more difficult for the snake to swallow. Okay, so the third snake, uh, this is the black rat snake right here. Now this mouse is actually a bit colder. This one didn't get fully warmed up, so we'll see how it goes. 
Okay, so again, I'm using tongs for this guy. And then go ahead and shake it. Get the nose near the snake. You'll see it there. And there we go, he grabbed it. Okay, so it's pretty simple to do, as you saw. Uh, some reminders once you're done. Throw away all the bags that you used. They're probably dirty. And then wash your hands after, as I just did. And then remember to put the tops on your tanks. But other things to remember is you're not gonna wanna handle your snake for about 24 hours after feeding them if it's a newer snake that you've got. Now, some of these snakes are more used to me, so I don't need to wait that long. But basically, there's an, that rat inside their stomach, and it's harder for them to defend themselves or feel safe when they have that extra weight, extra something in them. Because when snakes regurgitate their food, it's really bad for them, um, and it's just really uncomfortable for them. It can be dangerous on their stomach. You just want to avoid it. So the safest thing, if you recently got the snake, wait a whole day before touching your snake again, um, or really messing with it. That's how you can thaw your mice or rats for your snakes, and then how to feed the snakes. Pretty simple, doesn't take long, and it's pretty fun. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.